Hello from the beanbag and welcome to Daily Encouragements with Naomi. Thanks for joining me. So good to have you here. In today's Daily Encouragement, I just really feel that there are a lot of people out there that are struggling with hope that things will get better. I think, you know, the last couple of years for everyone have been hard. And in some ways it appears that things are still hard. And so I think a lot of us have lost hope. And today I want to encourage you that there is hope. Hope in Jesus. The way to know that hope is through relationship with him. And so that's what we're going to talk a bit about today. So let's go on this journey together and find out how you can have hope. And not just hope for now and for little things, but eternal hope and hope for everything. Because in Jesus, there is hope and hope in everything. So let's go. Let's do this. God is a God of hope. And in him, there is hope for the things of today, the things of tomorrow and the things of the future. When you are in relationship with Jesus, when you've given him your life, he replaces hopelessness with hope. He gives us hope. And I know that in my own life, he has given me hope. Because there was a time in my life where things were pretty hopeless and things were looking pretty bleak. And life was pretty dark. But through Jesus, I found hope. And I want to let you know how you can access that hope today. For those of you who don't yet have a relationship with Jesus... Let's talk about how you can and how you can have hope. There is a a verse in the Bible and it's in John 3.16. John 3.16 says, For here is the way God loved the world. He gave his only unique son, I love that, um, as a gift. So now everyone who believes in him will never perish but experience everlasting life. And I'm just going to go on to read verse 17. God did not send his son into the world to judge and condemn the world, but to be its saviour and rescue it. That is why Jesus came. And that is where our hope lies. That if we um, come to Jesus and say, I am a sinner. I need forgiveness because we we are all sinners and we all need forgiveness. Even those of us who have a relationship with Jesus, we are still sinners and we still need Jesus as much as those who don't yet know Jesus. And, you know, verse 17, God did not send his son into the world to judge and condemn the world, but to be its saviour and rescue it. He came in love. He came with compassion and empathy for us. For us who are sinners. Now, there's another verse that says, All all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And the consequences for that sin is death. But because Jesus went to the cross and died, We don't have to. He became the ultimate sacrifice for us. And we can live in that freedom of what Jesus did on the cross when we come into relationship with him. 
And that is where you'll find hope. When you give over your life to the Lordship of Jesus, you will have hope. And not only hope just for your days here on earth, but eternal hope. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. John 14, 6 says, Jesus explained, I am the way, I am the truth, and I am the life. No one comes next to the Father except through union with me. To know this is to know my Father all too. So, the only way to God and to eternal hope is through Jesus. And through, in faith, a relationship with him. As we surrender our lives to him, we become connected with God and are welcomed into his family as adopted sons and daughters of him. And we become heirs with God, heirs to the throne. And we have right standing with God and hope hope in times of hopelessness hope when things look utterly hopeless as i've said before in this world you will have troubles and hardships but jesus said i have overcome this world that is the hope that he gives us you know the promise there isn't that that by coming to me and by giving your life over and surrendering all, life will be easy and great and amazing. No. The promise is that in this world there will be troubles and hardship and, and crappy things that happen and go on. But Jesus says, I have overcome the world and I'm greater than that. And I have hope for you. And I have a plan and a future. And I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. What's so cool is that the God, when we come to him and repent of our, of our sin, he deletes it. He doesn't go, yes, I forgive you. And then weeks or months later, he doesn't go, oh, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute, hang on, hang on. Remember this? Remember when you did this? Remember when you lied to that person or when you stole some money or, you know, he doesn't sit there with his big list of, of sins that we've committed because Jesus went to the cross for those sins. Sins of the past, sins of the present and sins of the future. We need to walk daily with Jesus and daily forgiveness and daily laying down of our lives on the altar to be in relationship with him because it's relationship it's not about religion it's not about um you know once saved always saved no it is about daily laying down of our lives and daily relationship with Jesus and daily forgiveness and daily repentance um because we we all we all screw up every day we all fall short of God's standard but God sent Jesus to the cross to bridge that gap between us and him so that we can be in relationship live in hope hope that when we walk through hard stuff Jesus has got our back and he's walking with us and at times he's carrying us because it's too hard for us to put one foot in front of the other at those times Jesus carries us and gives us hope it's of heartache and pain Jesus comes and gives us hope. So 
if you are feeling like there is no hope for you and you are feeling hopeless please reach out and let, let me introduce you to Jesus he makes life so much better and he just he just carries it all for us he helps us walk every day because he knows how hard it is remember today that you are unconditionally loved by God there is nothing you can do to make him love you more and nothing that you've done that will make him love you less he sees our hearts and he still loves us so be encouraged that in Jesus there is hope and that God loves you unconditionally and he will never stop loving you never ever ever because he's a God of hope and a God who longs for a relationship with his children no matter how far they have walked away from his laws and teachings and commands he still loves you and he will forgive you he's a god of forgiveness so be encouraged and if you want to know more about having a relationship with jesus either drop it in the comments and we can sort that out or reach if you have friends family that are christians reach out to them and let's get a hope that lasts forever thanks for watching see you next time love you bye